Hello everybody, this is Juntas. Today we are taking a look at the best crafting recipes in Diablo 2. So a lot of you seem to like the last one which I did for crafting a 220 amulet. That was definitely a hard one, but today we are going to be taking a look at all the recipes that I consider worth doing in 2017, you know, with the end game meta in mind. There are definitely many crafting recipes that were perhaps decent enough back in the years, say 2005 or something like that, which have now gone completely obsolete. So today we are mostly just gonna focus on all the recipes that I consider worth doing, so you should maybe look out for these materials which I will talk about. So first up, let's take a look at all the recipes. Most of them are not gonna be very good at all, something like hit power items are definitely never used, except for the rare case where you perhaps want to craft knockback globs. That's definitely a very niche thing. But let's take a look at the recipes from the top here. We got blood recipes, which are kind of the most useful overall. You know, you got your, uh, your globs, which have crushing blow on them and leech. You got your nice build with uh, life leech on it and I believe it also faster hit recovery on it. And definitely the boots can also be somewhat interesting if you kind of want to experiment. And then obviously we got the nice uh, faster run vault amulets, which are definitely good on say a barbarian or an Amazon build. I can definitely see them utilizing it or even like a furry druid. And then the last one is probably the most common one of the blood items. I would think a good lead ring. You know, very powerful rings can actually be sold for a lot compared to the other blood items, which are maybe a bit hit and miss, except for perhaps the gloves, which, yeah, most people want knockback on them, so they're not really gonna sell good compared to uh, the hit gloves variation. And then let's also just take a look at the caster recipes for blood items. They are never really good and it's all about, uh, you know, nowadays a lot of people are just gonna get like a mage feast, like a shako, etc. A lot of these items have not really seen much uh, use. However, there are two items that still prevails for the armor slots. The caster builds are still exceptional. If you don't need uh, a rock belt for whatever reason, the caster build can be extremely good and especially the mana boots. Now I have a pretty, pretty good pair myself on my uh, faster cast rate, 200% uh, faster craze Noah Sorceress and those mana boots are definitely very good on such a build. So caster boots uh, are very nice to craft in this regard. However, those would be extremely hard to get because there's a lot of uh, rarities uh, you can get on them. So it would be one of the hardest things to craft. The build I would think will be a little bit easier. And then I guess I should also mention the magical amulet or the caster amulet. And let's also just take a look at the hit power. A lot of these items have never seen the day of light. They're just not worth using sadly. But however, uh, the gloves can be extremely good and it's only due to the knockback. A lot of people who are playing at Amazon etc. They want that nice knockback on the gloves themselves. So they're gonna get strained. Uh, dexterity on them, etc. And knockback, 20, increase attack speed and so forth. Such gloves can be very valuable, but besides that, the hit power items are not really worth making. They're just too gimmicky. And then let's take a look at the safety recipes. They're definitely fun, you know, a lot of the items spawns with uh, stats that are not found on any other items pretty much, such as the shield itself, which I believe rolls with magic damage. So it's pretty cool to see. I guess the belt would be kind of fun for the resistance. You know, a belt is usually just res kind of reserved for some sort of defense purpose. So safety belt would be fun enough. tri boots are also kind of gimmicky for a lot of builds. However, they can still be extremely good. And uh, that is one of the recipes that I will definitely try to show off. And then last not least, we have to remember the safety amulet. This comes with blocking, which is extremely, you know, important for some classes that want to, for whatever reason, not put many points into dexterity, don't have access to high level holy shield, whatever. This can be very good for PvP at least. I think a lot of safety amulets are actually very pricey to get, so it's cool to see that such items exist, I guess, uh, for those niche PvP builds. Very well then, let's get crafting. First of all, all the blood items. 
Blood gloves are just extremely good, you know, they can roll with crushing blow and life leech. It's very nice. Then we have the blood boots. They believe they can roll with you know, a lot of stats like life, replenish life. Um, obviously, they can also get the standard stuff like faster run walk and so forth. But I believe they can roll up to us at 3% life leech as well, which is very cool. And then obviously also blood belts are very nice. And then blood uh, rings and blood amulets. These are basically the only blood I recipes that are kind of worth doing. I would say the the best one would probably just be the the blood ring, because I believe that good leech ring can always be very nice. But let's see what I can get out of crafting these items. So let's have a look at the items for the blood recipes that I was able to get. Right off the bat, I rolled a pretty good glob here. You know, 10% crushing blow, that's decent. Two with a life leech could have been 3%. But the rest of the stats are actually also quite good. You know, 13 to life is pretty high. And then I quite enjoyed that it got fire damage roll. That's definitely a rarity. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these gloves here. And then the boots. They roll really poorly. But I will say that the replenish life were amazing. 10 to replenish life. I think that's maximum roll or something. Or is it 11 or 12 that's maximum? Anywho, 10 to replenish life is definitely cool. The rest of the stats weren't that good. And then the belt here, a high amount of life, 3% uh, leech, the rest is not that great, but I really enjoyed that it rolled over 60 to life, that was pretty sweet. And then the extra gold find was extremely high, so that's fun to see. It could actually be utilized as a gold finding uh, bar belt or something. Then the belt, oh, the forward, and then the ring. You know, this is kind of like a decent enough ring, but I can't really say it's going to be utilized on any build ever. And it's mostly just because of the life leech is only 2%. I think they can roll up to 11 or something as the maximum roll. So it's not really good, only because of that one. The rest of the stats were definitely fine. You know, if it had not been such a low amount of resistance uh, on the poison and instead of been cold resist also, it would actually have been decent enough stats. And then the amulet. If this has been plus two to all skills and instead of just summoning skills, it would definitely have been decent. Uh, Seven percent faster run walk. You know, it's just great to see that. Life lead, strained life, cold resist, and lightning. It's very good stats overall. It's just the skills that are not really that interesting. But yeah, a good round for the blood items. So let's cover the caster items. This is definitely a bit of a hype for the mana boots because I like to believe that's a very cool recipe to make. So yeah, we got the gloves, we got the ring, we got the build. Let's take a look at these items. So right off the bat, we actually got some decent enough boots. You know, I really like these stats. Regenerate mana, maximum mana, some mana, replenish life. They're actually pretty good. It's just they all roll rather low and the 10% faster one will definitely ruins boots like these. But the rest of the stats are just fun to look at. You know, they have a bit of everything for our casters, so... It's just nice to see these stats overall. They're not good, but they just have a bit of everything. Then the ring was very poorly rolled. I can't say this is good for anything. It's just kind of fun to see the minimum and maximum damage uh, roll happened, but that's about it. And then the boots here, I quite laughed at the enhanced defense roll. A uh, caster build with over 100 defense, that's kind of fun to see. But yeah, 7% of fast cast rate, 44% faster hit recovery, some mana, some regen. It's decent enough, but it's again like the ring, it's not really good. And then here at the end, let's cover the safety recipes. Mostly I'm just hyped for crafting a driver's boots, you know, if I was gonna make a, you know, a try for anything online, whatever, I would love to someday make some driver's boots. But let's take a look at these items here. So right off the bat, I just love this amulet with increased chance to blocking. You know, it's totally crap stats, but it's just fun to see and stat that you never really see on other items. So a good roll safety amulet. I still think that's one of the rarest PvP items that you can probably get your hands on. I imagine such well rolled items are rather expensive. And then the ring here, <laughs> yeah, I can't say it's good for anything. At least it rolled with some attack rating and mana leads. But the rest of the stats are pretty poor. And the same thing for the boots. 
At least it rolled with some fire resistance, but the rest of the stats can't really be utilized much. I like the dexterity, but that's, yeah, that's really about it. Fun defense as well, but um, yeah, I think that pretty much rounds it up. So, I'm um, pretty happy all well with like the boots and the, gl uh, the gloves and the boots here, but the rest of the items are not really usable that much. But still, it's uh, it's fun to do these uh, recipes and... You know, let let me know if you have like recipes yourself that I missed out. If you think I should have tried some other recipes, like uh, you know, there were so many to pick from. But I do believe that these are the most valuable items uh, to craft for. The rest of the recipes, mm, yeah, they might be good for like an early on uh, character ladder reset, whatever. Yeah, low levels, etc. But um, yeah, for in-game point of view, this is definitely the best recipes to know about. So I hope this was useful and everything. Um, again, feel free to comment if you have any questions, any ideas, uh, whatever. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.